Hello, I'm Betsy Romero from Hattari Labs, and in this video, I will show you how to insert topography data from a DEM file into Model Muse. Uh, so, first of all, I have QGIS open, which I recommend you to download. Uh, this software is a free and open source geographic information system where you can create, edit, visualize, analyze, and publish geospatial information. So here I have already imported the files I'm going to use. The first one is a shape file, and the other one is a DEM file of the of the study area I want to model in Model Muse. And in order to be able to insert this uh, topography file into uh, Model Muse, we need to transform. Uh, this file, which is a diff file, we can see here in the properties that it's a geotiff, and this uh, format has to be translated into a grid file format, which is the one that Model Muse can read. So to do this, we go to raster, conversion, and translate. Here in the input layer, by default, we find the, the raster file. And if we had here another, another raster files in QGIS, we could select them here. And we will leave the projection by default. The project uh, geographic uh, projection, which is this one. And now we are going to select where to save this uh, new file. We click here, save to file. And we need to make sure that in the type of file, we need to select this one, which is a GRD file. This will be the, the type of file that Model Muse will read. So I will give give it a name, then same area for the model, and click in Save. And now run in background. Okay, now the uh, the algorithm has finished, so we click close, and we have created this converted file. And now that we have this, we need to open Model Muse. So we go here and write Model Muse, and we are going to create a new mod new Modflow model click next we will click next and select this option that is no grid but before we can import this uh, this topographic information we need to first have the grid to do this we are going to insert the shape file corresponding to the model area we can do this by going to File, Import, Shape File, and we need to find uh, the corresponding shape file of the model area. We select this and click in Open. And here we need to make sure to select this option of Set Values of Enclosed Cells click OK. And to locate the object that we have just added, uh, we need to go this to this option, show or hide objects. Click it here. And here, if we, if we click in this area, we will find the object. And now we go right click go to 
and here it is. Now we need to select this uh, this option, select objects, and now we can close this and double click on the object. And we need to select this option used to set grid cell size. Here we will uh, indicate the value of the grid cell size, which in this case will be equal to 250. So we put this value here and click OK. Now to finish the grid, we need to use this tool, which is generate grid. We click it and we are going to uncheck this option because we want the angle to be zero degrees and click OK. And now we have created our grid which is of 250 uh, in the, the dimensions of the grids is 250 and 250. Now we can go to file, import the surfer grid file. And here we will be able to import the uh, this file we created in QGIS, the GRD file. So we select it and open. Now we will leave, we can, we could change here the interpolator. We can also change the filter me method. We will leave this by default now. And just, we will check this option of set values of intersected cells and of set values by interpolation because we are talking about a topographic surface so it is necessary that these options are selected. Now we click OK. Now in order to see the values because if we see these two profiles, they are still flat. We need to assign the topography to the model top. To do this, we go to data, edit data sets, and we will go to required layer definition, model top, and edit formula. Here we have to go to data sets user defined imported from surfer grid file and here we will find the the file we have just imported double click until it appears here and now we click ok and now we need to indicate an interpolation for the model top i will choose this one the nearest point and click apply Now, uh, now it's uh, according to the vertical exaggeration, we can see it properly, but to fix this, we can go here to view vertical ex exaggeration and we see the value is equal to 20, which is kind of high. We will change it to two, click OK. And if we check the profiles, we can see that now there's an elevation there. And we can also use this tool of select column, row, or layer. And we can see the different topography along the area. And another way to see uh, this topography information First, I'm going to disactivate these grids by only selecting show exterior using this tool here. And now I'm going to use this tool called data visualization. Here, 
I mean color grid, I can select here in data sets, a required layer definition model top and click apply. Now I can close this and here if I if I put, pass the mouse over the area I can see in the bottom of the screen how the values are changing you can, and these values correspond to the elevation. And now that we have seen that we have the topography information in model Muse, now we are ready to insert uh, boundary conditions and other elements in the model according to uh, your requirements. So this is the end of this tutorial and I hope you have enjoyed it. And don't forget to visit the Hatari Labs website because we are always uploading new posts and if you have any questions, comments or suggestions of posts you would like to see, don't hesitate to contact us. Until next time, bye bye!